Hey everyone, Ewok Hugs, and today we're going to continue our OpenGL C++ tutorial. Um, last time what we did was we just set up the basic window, um, nothing rendering on it yet, and hopefully by the end of this episode we'll actually get something up there. Um, so today we're going to focus on the void display. Um, and the display is where we're actually going to believe it or not, display our stuff. Um, so the first thing we're going to want to do is GL clear. Uh, GL, whoops, GL color uh, buffer bit and GL depth buffer bit. Uh, what GL cleared it is doing is um, what GL clear is doing is it clears all the buffers and presets the values back to zero. So it's basically like restarting the game or whatever it is you're making. Um, then what we're going to want to do is GL load identity. This basically just tells it, uh, it tells all the matrices, the current matrix, and it basically like like GLClear, it just starts up the program uh, or the rendering process. Um, now here's the point where we can actually draw stuff that's going on, uh, which will be fun. There's a few things we can just draw based on the G OpenGL libraries. Um, there's polygons, triangles, uh, quadrilaterals, stuff like that. Today, I think we're going to draw a quadrila quadrilateral. Sorry. Um, so we're going to do that by saying gl begin. Um, gl underscore quads and close that off. So uh, what we know about a quadril quadrilateral is that it has four vertices. So we're going to need to create four vertices for it. Um, we do that by saying gl vertex 3f. I'll let, for now, let's just put x, y, z. And we can go ahead and copy this for three more times. Whoops. Okay. Um, we could use 2F. Uh, 2F works fine, but 2F is 2D rather than 3D. And we kind of want to work in 3D, although we aren't going to get into 3D today. So right away, we can set all of our Z values to 0.0F. 0.0f and 0.0f. Okay, so now if we go ahead and it's not going to run. Um, of course not. Um, I'm just doing this to show you guys how we're going to go about this. So let me run it and let me make it smaller and we'll put it right here. So for the vertices, we have to think about it like like a unit circle, um, if you remember that from trigonometry. Uh, so here's our x-axis straight across here, our y-axis straight up and down, and we are going to need, oh, uh, real quickly, um, this is the top left, this is the top right bottom right, and then you guessed it, bottom left. Uh, we kind of want to keep those things there for reference. So think of the middle as 0, 0, point zero, zero on a graph. Think of the very top of this page as 1, 0, or I mean 0, 1. The bottom of this page, 0, negative 1. The right of this page, 1, 0. The left is negative 1, 0. So we're going to have to go by those values um, because it's basically a graph. And then there's the Z1, which we aren't going to get into today. Um, but for now, we're just going to focus on these values. So if we want to create a square, a perfect square, um, right in the center here, let's think about how to do that. Um, we know the x values are going to have to be opposite of each other. So say the x value is 0.5 for the top 
right or um, bottom right, either one, um, then we want it to be negative 5 for the y as well, and likewise for the y-axis. Um, hopefully this is making sense. It's hard for me to explain it very well. It's a much easier to show it. So I guess that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Um, let's uncomment these. Whoops. Uh, let's re-put these top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left. Okay, so the x value for the top left we want to say go over 0.25 f f for um, um, f for float and you don't really need to put it it's just more of a convention I prefer to put it just so we know that it's a float value even though it's obvious it's a float value okay um, for this x oh this is the top left so we want to go over negative Point zero point two five for the top right. We're gonna want to go over negative. I mean positive zero point two five f. What this is doing is it's creating basically a line from here to here. So negative point two five to positive point two five. And then what we're gonna want to do for Hopefully I'm doing this right. I think I am. Yeah, I am. Um, then we're going to want to go over the same on the uh, for the bottom as well, like we did at the top. And negative 0 0.25. Um, so otherwise it would turn out as like a trapezoid. So we want the x values to be exactly the same. Okay, so now the y values. The y values are gonna be not, it's basically the same thing. Uh, we want 0.75 for this one, 0.75f. For this one, 0.75f. And then we could set these two as 0, 0, but actually let's make it 0 0.5, 0 0.5. We'll do negative 0.5f and then negative 0.5f. And this should center it, actually. Oh. What the heck? Um, I think 0.25 is too much. So let's go to 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Still going to be a white page. And the reason for this is our color scheme. Um, oh, actually, no, that's not the reason for this. We need to GL end, which basically means it's ending the process. It's not expecting anything more. And then swap buffer, so it goes back to the, after after it's done buffering all this, then it goes on to the next thing. So now if we run it. We'll see we have a beautiful square or quadrilateral hmm, sorry um, going on right now. So uh, I kind of want to make it a square. So we need to change the x values a little bit. Um, we need to make them 0.125, I believe. 1, 2, 5. One two five and one two five, and I think that'll make it a perfect square. Uh, yeah, it looks perfect enough for me, I guess. I want to say the X is a little bigger, but I mean the Y is a little bigger. But what are you gonna do? Um. So now we have our vertex set, vertices set up. Um. So let's make this a little more fun for this episode. Um. So you guys have something to actually play play around with until the next episode, which will probably be today. Uh, we want to set the color of 
each one. So color 3F, it goes by RGB values. So say we want this um, square blue, 0.0F, 0.0F, and then 1.0F. Boom, boom. We will now have a blue square. So we have a lovely blue square. Um, let's play with these colors a little bit more. Um, we can set one up for each vertice. Um, and here we go. Uh, so say we want this one have a point 0.5 in there. We'll say this one's point 0.1. This one point two. This one point five. This one point nine. And this one zero point zero. And then we'll make this one just one, two, one. So now if we go ahead and run it, we'll probably get a crazy cool rainbow pattern square. All right, awesome. That concludes today's episode and. Next time, we'll get into perspective stuff, because as you can see, um, the perspective isn't really at its best, uh, but we'll work on that, we'll work on that. Um, hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you next time.